I want to show you another fence video. This is number six for us now. Hey! Hi everybody, I'm Barry Eschenbrenner. I am the uh, senior manager here at the uh, Horticulture and Agroforestry Research Center at New Franklin, Missouri, part of the University of Missouri uh, Agricultural Experiment Station. I want to show you another fence video. This is number six for us now. This is probably one that works the the sorriest to be really honest with you. It, it's very simple and you can use this if you have just a normal page wire fence or barbed wire fence, something like that if you want to keep. Now, now we're really only concerned here about deer. What we're protecting in this particular spot is apples. We have uh, blackberries on the back side and what you're looking at right here behind me are walnuts. The deer don't really mess with the walnuts until once they get a certain size they don't seem to bother them. On this particular fence, it's a normal cattle fence is all it would be that you're going to see everywhere. On this particular one, we're using what we call page wire, woven wire maybe you call it, and then up above we've got two strands of hot wire, and that is to keep the deer from just jumping over top of it. So this, this fence is one of these that is a combination type fence where it's got electric and it's got uh, just normal permanent fencing. Very typical, it would be no different. Like I said, if you had barbed wire here, just a typical cattle fence, same, same general idea. When we come to the gate, we're not electrified at all, but in order to keep the deer from just jumping over the top of our gates, we use this polypropylene uh, fencing, this, the, the stuff that we ordered for the, one of the other fences that I showed you. And it, it, it's saggy, not real pretty, but it does the job. We have electric right here, and this is a fence charger, just a normal fence charger that you can buy anywhere. This is the way we hook these up. It's got a power, and it, this goes to ground, okay? All you simply do is hook yourself to your ground. You have a grounding rod, which is driven in the ground. We're usually about as deep as you can drive one. You know, you want to get down good. And most of the time we use at least two or three grounding rods. That's what's recommended. And you, and you wire them in parallel. So that after you hook to the ground, then it's just a matter, it's just a simple type of alligator clamp. And you hook it to your wire. And then that will electrify and go up there. Another thing you can do, and, and, and we use it in the winter time, in the summer when the grass grows up and, and we want to mow, I mean, obviously you can tell, hey, we haven't mowed this lately, but if, if we, we need to, let's put it that way, we come out about four feet from the permanent fence and we put what we call like a kicker wire or it, it's really nothing more than an electric fence wire that would be about maybe thigh high, three and a half feet in the air and deer seem to have a problem with depth perception. So as they come up to this fence that's yay high, this far from the, from the permanent fence, hopefully maybe it, it zaps them and, and they kind of stay away. But instead of diving over the whole thing, they have trouble supposedly seeing. We have seen that that works. It's not 100% if you, if you, you know, it's fast and easy. So it, you know, when things are fast and easy, that's, you know, usually get what you, what you pay for and stuff like that, but it does work. So if you have, you know, if you're in a, if you're in a pinch for a hurry and it's, it's relatively inexpensive, it's just, you know, poly wire and some step in posts. Like here's a great example of a step in post and you can, man, you can throw up a lot of fence really fast on that. What we like to do on these fence chargers, they are designed to stay outside, but I mean, it doesn't take much to, to cover them up, to keep them out of the rain. I mean, they, you know, they, they are waterproof, but I just like to be on the safe side. They do cost, you know, very easily over a hundred dollars. So why not spend another little bit of effort and time? We cover it like that, then the rain doesn't get it. So it seems to work really good for us. Here, I want to show you an example of, of one of our T posts that we drive in to give us the height. Now those are 10 foot T posts and we drive them in the ground 18 inches deep, probably something like that, two feet, depends how rocky or hard your soil would be. And then you see the poly wires that goes up and it goes to the yellow thing that's on top of this particular T-post. And we just call those insulators. 
So you can't hook poly wire or any electric wire, of course, right to your T-post. Your T-post is steel, so it would be a direct ground and it would kill your fence. So you have to go to a plastic or a porcelain. So we use these plastic insulators which snap on and off real easy. You can move it up and down the T-post to whatever height you desire and go from there. Very inexpensive, readily available at any farm and home type supply store. These tall T-posts are available, but they're not just, that's a special order kind of thing. So if you're thinking, man, I, I wanna make a tall fence, and I would highly recommend that you, if you're serious about keeping deer out, that's, that's a must. Look into those, and I'm sure you can order them at most farm and home supply places too throughout the state. This is the last of our, our videos on deer fencing right now. So, I mean, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm, I'm always amazed people are interested in this stuff, to be quite truthful. That's great. Um, if you have more questions or are interested in this, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Send us an email. That's what we're here for. If you're in the New Franklin area, which is near Boonville, we're right in the center of the state of Missouri. Please come by, we're here during normal working hours and you can actually look at the stuff and we'll show you exactly the way we do it. More than welcome to come anytime and we love having visitors. Once again, thanks for watching. See you all later. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, share and subscribe to our channel, Mizzou Agroforestry.